Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we have another video regarding Call of Dragons and there is a new announcement uh, new two heroes, legendary heroes are coming out uh, first one is Kolgul and the second one is Goresh all we know is that the both heroes are from the faction of uh, Wilderburg and like by just looks you can like simply understand what kind of heroes they will be and also we have some kind of information regarding uh, one of each uh, at least what kind of skill trees they will have uh, regarding like skull ghoul uh, skull ghoul uh, will have infantry uh, pvp and tank uh, infantry pvp and tank uh, actually is a pretty good uh, talent trees because uh, like uh, um, uh, infantry with PvP, which means it will be useful in the battlefield, uh, which means it will be useful <clears throat> in the statue fights, in pass fights, uh, and tank. Like tankiness is not is I think overrated in the Call of Dragons because of lot of healings from Garwood and lot of counter attack damage from Madeline and Nika, and so like in the tank section of the infantry units, like simply tank would be amazing. Uh, and I'm interested in what kind of talent trees I will uh, find out for the Skull Goal in terms of purely tank and pvp uh, regarding Goresh uh, Goresh will be uh, finally uh, infantry rally and precision we are getting uh, infantry rally uh, hero uh, which I think he kind of looks like a hero which can lead the infantry right uh, it's pretty interesting uh, because of the third uh, talent tree precision uh, infantry rally and precision well uh, it will be useful in the roots of war uh, it will be he will be useful in the like past battles. We have not had any infantry rally uh, heroes in the game, so we are finally getting it with the precision talent, which is kind of unusual. Like precision talent, I have only seen on the marksmen's. Like Nico has a precision talent, and uh, like in precision with the infantry with the rally will be interesting. I guess it's like more damage build. Uh, like less tanky, uh, like Skull Ghoul's uh, talent tree looks more uh, tanky and more survivability rather than Goresh. Goresh, I think, will be like more DPS than like full tank. So, like, finally, we are getting infantry legendary heroes. I'm excited. Also, uh, like, if you want to guess what, what kind of skills uh, these heroes will have, like, Call of Dragons games are doing contests. Like, if you can guess at least one skill, I think you need to write them on, the, on their Facebook channel or, like, Discord. So, like, yeah, that's all I wanted to share. Like, I just saw it and I wanted to share and I wanted to share my opinion regarding these two heroes. And I like that they are infantry because infantry were lacking, like, more interesting and more diverse, uh, skillful heroes. And, of course, like, Wilderberg with this uh, costume and with these looks, I think they both look amazing. And inside the game, they will be even better. So, Skullful, Skullgul with infantry, uh, uh, PvP and defense, in, uh, and tank, and Goresh with infantry, uh, rally and precision. That's the stats, that's the talent trees, all we know. And other than that, like... Whatever, whatever leak there is in this photo will be useful for you guys. Thanks for watching. That's all I wanted to share. Uh, there will be more videos in the future. Bye-bye.